Hi guys, I have something to update you guys on. Um, I kind of left this part out of my 14 week vlog because I didn't have enough information about it at that time to say something and I didn't want to leave a bunch of unanswered questions and just increase everybody's worry, etc. So, let me start from the beginning. At um, seven weeks pregnant at my first appointment, my blood was tested, of course, it's a natural thing. Um, and I tested positive for the big E antibody. And what that is, is there are several different, um, antibodies that we all carry, just different ones. And, um, most of them aren't a big deal, but when you're pregnant, if the baby has the opposite kind then the blood could cross the placenta and it could cause issues. So what Big E does, the particular one that I have, um, is it has the potential to cause anemia in the baby. So luckily my levels are really low. They are measured in ratios. The titer level is measured in ratios. And uh, mine was at one to one. And when they raise, they double. So the levels go from 1 to 1, and then 1 to 2, 1 to 4, 1 to 8, 1 to 16, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. Um, so I had a ultrasound today with a perinatologist. I was referred to the specialist to um, just kind of see what the plan was, how the baby was doing, measuring, and what our next steps would be from there on out. So we weren't worried about it because we knew that my blood levels were super low. My titer level um, was super low. So um, they had a look. And the, most, the main thing I was worried about is what does this mean for my home birth? And are they going to try to give me a bunch of tests and interventions that are unnecessary now? Because now I'm, or was, high risk. But I just... The main thing that was making me crazy is I had a thousand questions and no answers. So I didn't say anything publicly because I wouldn't have been able to answer y'all's questions anyways at that point. Um, so I was mainly afraid of worst case scenario with super mean perinatologists saying you've got to come in every four weeks for sonograms, blah, 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 when that's not really necessary right now at this point because my blood, my titer levels are so low. Um... So anyway, I, I, I did want to go to this appointment because I did want to meet with the perinatologist to feel him out, see how he felt, um, see what he thought, plan of action, see the baby, etc. So uh, we went today and we got the nicest perinatologist in the world. He was so nice. Um, I think it helped that we brought our little four-year-old Spider-Man with us because he just... He was everybody's charmer today with his Spider-Man mask on. Um, so, everything is fine. What they do um, to check the baby is, it's called an MCA uh, Doppler? Yeah, it's an ultrasound called an MCA Doppler. And it measures the blood flow through the main artery of the brain. I think it's called the central cerebral artery. Uh, don't quote me on that, but I'm pretty sure... That's what it's called. Um, and through that, they'll be able to tell how much blood the baby's getting, how the baby's doing, etc. Um, and the baby was actually doing better than a normal baby for this age. So that was great. And so the um, Everything checked out. We He's really comfortable with my blood levels. I don't have to get them tested until 28 weeks. Um, and if they go up, um, then he wants to do another sonogram before 32 weeks. Because after 32 weeks, the sonogram is not as reliable. Um, but we don't suspect anything at all is going to pop up with this because... Uh, about 1% of first-time diagnosed antibody E pregnancies have no complications whatsoever. Um, now, 
how did I get this and why have I had two babies just fine and now they're just not finding this? Um, you can get antibodies through blood transfusions and I did have one of those. If you've seen my birth story uh, for Carson, I did have a blood transfusion after I had him. I had several. Um, so that's most likely where it came from. Now, why it didn't show up during Paisley's pregnancy, they said sometimes it just doesn't. Sometimes it takes a little bit to show up in your blood work. So, you know, that's what, we're, that's what it is. Um, that's what we're dealing with. That's why um, I had another ultrasound today. And, um, yeah, you know, I mean, I go into... I went into this pregnancy not wanting any extra tests, any extra anything that wasn't necessary, but, you know, uh, um, I can't really help <laughs> what my blood results bring back, so uh, that's that's uh, that's the deal. And, you know, um, my main goal is to do whatever is needed to get cleared of any label I might have now so that I can have my home birth and a healthy baby and I will jump through whatever hoops I need to do to get that so um that's just how I feel about that and um yeah it I'm reading off of a, a website here that this this lady who had it um she's got a really informational um blog that she kept with some stories etc so I'll put the link to that below and you can kind of see if you're interested what it even is it's not really common uh, the most common is the the RH factor one and they have a shot for that this is so rare that they don't even have a shot for for it so you can offset the the antibodies so um yeah so that's that. Um, oh, so the fun part about the ultrasound is we got to see little feet. Little feet were measuring like teeny tiny 1.8 centimeters. So cute and tiny. Um, and we made sure to tell him we didn't want to know the baby's gender. I'm like terrified every time I go in for ultrasound because Paisley was so obvious. They put the dop the probe on my stomach and as soon as they did that like her legs were in the air I mean it was like they were getting her head but her legs were right there in her head it was it was crazy so I'm like nervous every time they put it on I kind of just ooh, and I'm like we don't want to know so he was really good about going down there in an angle as to where not just like going straight across the bottom trying to measure the leg or something so we couldn't see uh, let me check my time real fast um, so, that was super fun, Carson got to see, he's really into bones and all that right now, like I said before, and he, you know, he, um, the doctor was really sweet to him, he was like, see, here's the baby's brain, and the spine, and the hips, Carson was like, I want to see the hips, and so he showed him, here's the hips, and he was really sweet, um, what else was I going to say, I forgot, um, 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 shoot oh well uh so yeah so that's about all and it was really good to see the baby i'm perfectly fine oh that's what i meant to say as soon like the whole time he's got the the sonogram thing what is it called the probe or the whatever the tool that they use this baby is like he's like pushing down you know to get the sonogram and this baby is like fighting him like tooth and nail and rolling and flipping and the whole time I'm like ugh, ugh. and the doctor's just laughing at me because he can feel it too and it's just it's the craziest thing I don't know why this baby's so active so like right now Paisley was super active too um but I don't know what's going on I mean the baby's not measuring any bigger or anything like that so I don't know it was funny it was cute but I was like well <laughs> every time they'd press against each other is it was funny, but anyways, if you have any more questions, you feel free to ask. I've got a lot more information now than I did, so uh, yeah, I'll talk to you later. Bye.